While some people may think of fire as a bad thing, controlled burns like the one behind me are actually bringing life. I spent the day with firefighters at the Big Cypress National Preserve to learn how controlled burns are actually restoring the ecosystem. Fire season is ramping up. It's a little later than normal, however, because of the exceptionally wet weather from El Nino this winter. It was a little bit wetter than we have typically seen, which has extended our burn season. Um, this is the last major burn of the season. While brush fires can be very scary, prescribed burns like this 13,000 acre burn are far from it. We do fire under controlled conditions. We get to pick the winds. We get to pick where the smoke's going. We get to pick how many resources we have. Um, so really, the more controlled we can be, the better outcomes we're going to see for the future. And those better outcomes include restoring and returning nutrients back into the ecosystem. Fire wants to be here. Fire has always been here. Um, only since we have moved into these communities have we had a harder time seeing fire where the, the wildfires don't move through naturally. Um, so what we're doing is we're using prescribed fire to uh, to simulate the, the natural wildfire we used to see. And when, when you put fire on this ground, we do, we see that energy kind of just explode out of the earth uh, with this regrowth and it doesn't take long. I mean, you'll, you'll come out here in two weeks and you're going to see these new fresh green sprouts coming up from the ashes. And it's the removal of natural fire from the ecosystem that prescribed fire specialist Michael Gu calls the war on fire. For years, we've looked at fire as something that we squashed or, or, you know, that's created this war on fire. And we've come to find that fire is playing its natural role here. Uh, no matter what happens in the world, fire is going to be part of these ecosystems. And it's, it's on us to find a way to redefine that relationship with fire and find a way to, to live with it. And with our changing planet, Gu says prescribed fire is only going to become that much more important by simulating natural fires and lowering the intensity of how a wildfire may burn. With some of the changes we're seeing in weather, we're seeing both wetter seasons as well as drier seasons. And some of that comes with uh, more extreme conditions on the landscape. So. Um, with that combination of the changes in, in those conditions, along with fuel loading from many years of fire suppression, uh, we do see uh, more fire behavior. As you know, we've had a number of brush fires lately that put buildings in danger. Burns like this one can stop those in the tracks, in fact, lowering the risk of wildfires to our communities. Uh, we saw last year we had four large wildfires. Um, the biggest one grew several thousand acres in one day and then hit into a prescribed burn scar that we had conducted earlier that year and put itself out on that flank. Understanding the importance of prescribed fire, Big Cypress is already planning burns to conduct through 2029. Their goal is to burn each area of the preserve every four to five years. In Big Cypress National Preserve, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.